Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be uh, talking about aggregate functions in SQL. So I'm going to break this tutorial into two. So we're going to have uh, aggregate functions part one then part two. In part one we're going to look at count and sum. In part two we're going to look at mean, max and average. Yeah so yeah if you're totally new here this is your first interaction with me. This is your first interaction with my content around SQL. Feel free to go to the playlist section and look at the first ever video that I created. In case you don't know how to upload your CSV onto my SQL, I show you how to do that on that video. And I also link uh, a tutorial. So you can just click on that link and you can go to the tutorial and you can learn how to install my SQL onto your machine in case you don't have it. Yeah. Mm, so yeah, minus that, guys, let's get into the video. Uh, so I really can't wait to combine aggregate functions and group by those two together are the real deal. So the first question we're going to tackle is count number of YouTubers, count the number of YouTubers, the number of YouTubers on the list. Yeah, so we're going to do select count. Uh, so we're interested in the number of YouTubers. Okay, there you go. Uh, from the whole thing, yeah? So note, this is just a general count. It's not a distinct count of YouTubers. So even if there's a YouTuber who appeared five times, all those five times that YouTuber appeared, count. So count YouTuber. So if, uh, oh, this is interesting. So like what I use whenever I'm working on Postgres would leave this blank because we're not given it a name. So we can give it a name as count of YouTubers, yeah? Mm -hmm. Their account of YouTubers, yeah. And yeah, that's basically it. So uh, as I mentioned before this video, we're going to be looking at sum, we're going to be looking at count, and then in part two, we're going to be looking at mean, max, and average. And you see like now we're just counting the number of YouTubers, but let's say you wanted to know the number of YouTubers by country. So you count them. Yes, there are 847, but maybe 500 are from the US, 200 are from Africa, 100 are from Europe. So that's where the power, that is now the power of group by. And yeah, so yeah, if you found this interesting so far, found my other tutorials interesting so far, feel free to, you know, like, let me know if you like it, what you'd want me to cover and subscribe. So by the time we're getting to other, um, other tutorials like group by and having, we are still together. So yeah, so the next thing, count the number of countries on the list. So we're going to do select count. Country as number of countries. And then to make it this interesting, we can do count this country country as number of unique countries um, so we're getting it from Google YouTube statistics table. So yeah, let's highlight that. Oh, we're going to get an error. So let's highlight that and do away with this. <clears throat> so we're selecting. We're counting the number of countries and we're counting the number of unique countries from. Mm, okay, so let's run that. Okay, so as you can see, we have 847 countries and 47 countries. So the next two questions are going to cover uh, some, yeah? So we want to know total highest earnings for this 
YouTuber. Okay, so why I say highest earnings is let's come to these columns. It's because we have highest yearly earnings, we have lowest yearly earnings, highest monthly earnings, lowest monthly earnings. So I'm interested in highest yearly earnings. So the total highest yearly earnings for this YouTuber. So all of them together, the highest income they ever earned. When you aggregate it, yeah, how much they all earn together? All these 847 YouTubers, when you bring their income together, how much is it? Then here we're going to do lowest, we also do yearly earnings for this YouTuber, yeah? So this is where we're going to use the aggregate function known as sum. So you still have to do select, then you have to do sum, and what is this? Highest yearly earnings. As um, Wrong. So how much did all of them earn all together? Let's find out. And there you go. Uh, yeah, so this was the, all of them together. This is the income that YouTube sent out to all these people. Again, uh, <clears throat> there's only so much you can do with this, yeah. It counts probably if you you have a dashboard that is tracking earnings of various YouTubers. So maybe you you work for a certain um, function inside YouTube, and you actually care. Like you have targets. Like oh, in for the there's the purposes of impact. Yeah. So for the purposes of impact, we want our goal this year is to you know, pay more than X amount to various YouTubers across the world, or maybe you realize a certain country or a certain continent is under underrepresented and you want to see, okay, what initiatives can we come up with to, you know, encourage these people to, you know, create more content, hence and more. So I guess the thing that comes to my mind is like YouTube Black. I don't know much about it, but I guess it's a program that is, you know, trying to... I guess it's an impact program that is related to black YouTubers, hence YouTube Black. And I'm like, okay, if I wanted to track the impact of this program based on revenue, number one, I'd want to see like total revenue to everyone who qualifies to uh, for YouTube Black. Probably group them by various continents, group them by various countries and you know you track it through time and see ah okay okay so overall we are here but this continent is here continent b is here we need to do something to help continent b catch up with continent a etc so yes this is just the first step there is more you could do with this number break it into continents break it into countries and yeah and i can't wait for us to read to start this project so that we combine all these things create all these metrics and finally create our dashboard using Tableau or Power BI, okay? So I want to know the total number of views for this YouTuber. So all these YouTubers together, yeah? How many views did they do? So here we don't have to, again, I always say reinvent the wheel, uh, video views, okay? So it's video views, yeah? So you just, hmm. I wonder how that's going to work. I wonder how that's going to work because video views has a space. I think we have to do this. Okay, let's 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 run and see. Let's run and see. So we didn't bring in. Select so select some video views as some video views from uh, global YouTube statistics. 
let's run this and see what happens. Uh, that's impossible. Let's remove this and see what happens. Hmm. Okay, there you go. So this is a more accurate number of video views. So yeah, so, and I guess something else I can mention. So um, let's undo this control X Yeah, No, let's, um, okay, it's still there. So let's just remove this here. Yeah? And let's run that, we're going to get an error, yeah. So let's highlight and run that. So we're getting an error. Why we're getting an error is because uh, they are naming rules, yeah? Uh, both in SQL and Python, yeah? And one of the naming rules is, you can't, like when you're, when you're naming a column, it cannot have a space, yeah? So if it has a space, you have to put it in quotation before you call it yeah so yeah so just keep that in mind and i didn't even notice that uh video views had a space so like if this was in python i would have probably renamed this and put like an underscore in between so that when i'm trying to call this particular column it doesn't disturb me but yeah so just keep that in mind like there it's related to naming rules so ideally this variable would have been this column would have been named better would have been named better either concatenate video views should be connected or put an underscore in the middle. But anyway, so that's the count total. That's a sum of total views of these YouTubers. So remember that's the sum, not the count. The count would have been like 800 or less, depending on whether there are some missing values or not in that column. Mm, so yeah, so the next thing we're going to do is total lowest yearly earnings. So let's go to that. So we want to know uh, these YouTubers, yeah? Of course they had a good year, they had a bad year, yeah? Uh, by the time this data was collected, how much did they, was disbursed to them? Like let's say 2010 was their lowest year and 2020 only made $1,000 and uh, 2015 was your best year and in 2015 you made like, I don't know, $10,000. So have you, have like come 2023 is $10,000 still your highest? So you've had another highest is 2010, I think that's what I used still your lowest. So like between 2010 and 2023, have you ever made anything below $1,000? So yeah, so that's my understanding of that column. So yeah, let's select this one. So we want to select and we want to sum. And we are interested in lowest uh, yearly earnings as sum lowest yearly earnings. So we are getting this, um, bring this down. We are getting this from the global YouTube statistics table. Yeah, let's run that and see what happens. Yeah, so that's the total, like on the lower side, this is what was ever disbursed to all these YouTubers by YouTube. So this, I, then I get this is just the first step. This is just a very basic tutorial to introduce guys to what aggregate functions are.
for me, the power of aggregate functions is when they are combined with group by, like it allows you to see so many things. Do you want to see the lowest yearly earnings by gender? So from this total, what percentage of it went to, uh, what are they called? What percentage of it went to uh, one, one gender over the other? What percentage went to various age groups? What percentage went to various countries, various continents, ETC? If that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned, subscribe. It's coming very soon to you guys. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, uh, that's it for, for this video. As I mentioned, this is just one video out of so many tutorials around SQL that I've already created and plan to continue creating. If you like it, smash the like button. If there's something that you'd want to see me covering, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, people have a lovely rest of your morning, evening, afternoon, night, ETC. Bye.